Over the past six months, Major Tim Peake has circled the Earth thousands of times. He's carried out hundreds of experiments. He's walked in space. It's really cool seeing that Union Jack go outside. He's even run a marathon. Now it's time to come home. As you're coming down through the atmosphere, you can see the horizon and the sky go from the absolute deepest black back down to becoming blue. The world's most famous astronaut remembers a bone-shattering ride. You see the fire that envelops your vehicle like you're flying a meteorite home, being crushed and burned and torched 3,000 degrees. It's like you're flying through a blast furnace. Tell me about the moment of impact when you actually finally slam into the ground. You hit the ground like, like a ton of bricks, like a car crash. Probably the best way to remember how violent it is, is during training, our, our Russian instructors, they, they stress to you, remember, just before landing, stop talking so you don't bite your tongue off. After they leave the space station in their Soyuz capsule, Major Tim and his crewmates, Tim Kopra and Yuri Malenchenko, will hurtle through the Earth's atmosphere for three hours. The big thing I remember feeling is when the parachute comes out, it's quite violent. I think it's a bit exhilarating because your body is just going through these quite physical processes. The landing is probably more dangerous than the launch. Um, nobody has ever died in space. The people who have died have been launching or landing. Um, so yes, we know these are the two most uh, hazardous times. Major Tim has trained time and again for his return. It promises to be an exhilarating end to a pioneering mission. Alok Jha, ITV News.